Sea days are for relaxing and getting dressed up for the gala dinner, something we both enjoy. Photos taken on the grand staircase. Images of the theatre taken another time, before it got full of people. Mixed reviews for the shows on board. In hindsight, if you do a 42-day cruise, you can expect some duplication of the nightly shows. A bright sunlit day heralds our arrival in Victoria, British Columbia. You have to put up with the aircraft videos because I'm a bit of a plane buff. Nope, there is no shade on the other side. I guess I will have to settle for this patch. On the shuttle into town, we passed this giant watering can. Did not have the luck to see the owner. The Centennial Fountain. Three mosaic monoliths depict the three fundamental stages of every man's life. Childhood, adulthood, and old age. Glorious red dragon at the entrance to Chinatown. A Chinese style wall mural. Love this driftwood horse in the tourist center. A colorful orca leaping from the water in sheer joy. Not a real one, I might add. Every year, for three quarters of a century, hanging baskets of living flowers have been placed on the city lamp posts each June. Back in 1994, the city hosted the Commonwealth Games, as this plaque reminds us. This plinth with otters marks the signing of the treaty between Great Britain and the Russian Empire, 28th of February 1825, demarcating Canada's western boundary. Downtown Victoria. Parliament House, which faces the harbour, was first used officially in 1898. Horse carriage rides are available and are popular. A gnarly old tree, no indication of how old it may be. First Nation totem poles in the grounds of the Royal British Columbia Museum. Just too far away from the restored Netherlands Centennial Carillon to get any good audio of it playing.
Looks like this is a buoy factory. A coastal sailing ship, remodeled to take visitors on harbour cruises. Always a cat, even if not a real one. I like the lines of this glass roof. This gleaming canoe has a real beauty to it. St Andrew's Cathedral. We could not visit and feel comfortable taking photographs while a service was taking place. A silvery rooster guards a small shop. This flowery orca bursts from a garden. This one lifting bridge, named for its shape when lifted. A detail of the lifting mechanism. The water taxi home base. And water taxis busy around the harbour. Pick your route, buy your ticket and hop on and off. It's as easy as this. For longer trips, there are serious seagoing ferries. Alongside the water taxis, RIB boats take visitors whale watching, and there are plenty of planes and helicopters for hire. Victoria Fire and Rescue add to the city noise. Back at the cruise terminal, we can catch a bows on view of our ship. All along the coast we have seen piles of tree trunks on the shoreline. It is not economical to go and recover them, so they lie there. These two tugs show no sign of life. Maybe they have been retired. Always amazed at the places plants will grow. If you or I were to plant these in the same spots, probably fail to grow anything. A tribute to the Canadian First Nations people on the breakwater wall. Vancouver, British Columbia, tomorrow.